Mama said, if you want to get tough, going to tell you what to do. Got to stand up to bullies, make them black and blue. Big girls don't cry in this here house or run and scream when they see a mouse. You punch first, then offer them a plate of cheese and crackers. Was a Goldwater girl, just playing it cool. Drove west to Boston, learned a thing or two. Got so steamed that I made a speech about a Washington man I'd soon impeach. Senator, check it out. Life. 1969, me and bold stripe bell bottoms. Well, the Republicans got mighty mad. I switched parties then, man, I was glad. I said, we don't want reconstruction, want human change and reproduction. Rights for all women from Chicago to Beijing. Before that, I moved down to Arkansas, married a boy named Bill, and got the call. They said, little lady, we don't like your kind. Take off those big old glasses and turn your mind off. They said that. Dye your hair, too, and bake some cookies. Well, I did that and more, even changed my name. Rod them to Clinton, yeah, I played their game. I called everything from slut to bitch was a nutcracker and dominatrix. Hickory nuts and something nasty dangling between my legs. I was first lady when I made a case. Healthcare for all in this crazy place. Those boys with guns, man, they shot it down. I just gripped my teeth and went back to town. And back to the drawing board. Stick it posts, highlighter pens. Couple years went by when an open seat in New York State where I had to be. The former mayor who pulled out quick and a representative trying to be slick. All up in my personal space. Sorry, Rick. Score Hillary. Well, people say that I laugh too loud, my voice is shrill, and I scare the crowd. But let me tell you a thing or two, gotta speak up in this here zoo. Lots of snakes slithering round, donkeys and elephants too. Well, the time was right to make a run, grab a pantsuit or two and have some fun. Pinned a big old square brooch upon my chest and made a historical bid to be president of these here United States of America. Score Obama. Lost again, 2016. To a misogynist man with smallish hands Whose face got orange from fake suntans Yeah, when I caught pneumonia, called me wussy While those greasy palms were out grabbing On a bus full of virgin bush Bragging and popping Tic Tacs Now people say that I don't relate, that I can't connect and inspire hate, but I have to ask, not saying the words, are women here held to higher standards? Touched a nice ceiling though, even if the gods were against us. Sorry ladies, thanks for the view, Michelangelo. Some people think I dish forgotten folks, that's that I was a crooked lady and can't tell a joke. 
But man, a campaign in storm or weather made it hard to believe we are stronger together. There's plenty else I can do, like those boys told me back at Harvard. Hey, Bill. Yeah, you. What's that you said about me at the DNC? Well, you are the best darn change maker that I ever did see. Let's round up the dogs, Bill, and the grandkids, and go hiking yander. Okay, darn, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Well, that depends on who you're talking to. If you're a man on the fringe, well, maybe that's true. With a baseball cap and red tail coat, you can lead the circus and still lose the vote. Popular, that is. Ringmaster full of hyperbole. Believe me, bigly. Step right up, folks. Just say it, boy, and repeat it again. Maybe the lies you tell will soon sink in. When you spend as much time in this here life, you learn a thing or two. One all is rife with contradiction. <laughs> Nothing shiny about this city on a hill. Bunch of clowns and shiny cars and suits and gold toilet bowls. Well, I said it once and I'll say it again. The time is right for all women to take the bull up by the horns and march on into this game of thorns called politics, democracy, Bled like a damn lamb. Next time, ladies. Better buy a bulletproof vest, though, and hire that girl. What's her name, Bill? But don't bother with a private email server. They'll burn your heels at the stake. Go brawless, too. And don't get too mad or laugh too loud or study too hard or catch a cold or ever give up on this great country of ours. Thank you, America. Thank you. <laughs>